Hey guys, so we have Bill here. Bill? Hi, hola. <laughs> and he's going to uh, show how he gets into and his dry suit. Okay. So let's talk about what, what is this? Um, that's what we're checking today. You dry is what it implies. You're dry and with a wetsuit, you're wet. And instead of having the water in between your dry suit, your wetsuit and your body, warming the water, which keeps you warm, a dry suit uses a um, air in between your suit and your body. So, uh, and when it all goes right, you come out of the water dry. Yep. And okay. In this long, I, I was in it uh, three weeks ago, and it was a little. It I had a leak, probably in the zipper. I don't think I had the zipper up all the way. Something uh, about dry suits is there cumbersome until you get in the water. It's not quite pleasant. Um, being a, from a cold weather climate. Um, Diving in the winter time, this is uh, very nice. And I'm not used to diving with seals, wrist seals anyway. Uh, I'm used to gloves. But, uh, uh, wrist seals just to keep the water out, obviously. I mean, the, the, something as simple as a hair coming across could be enough to. Oh. Flooding a suit is never good, other than adding a lot of weight to your body, to your suit. So if you have a, a major flood and getting out of the water is probably the best thing. Honestly, all the years I've been dry diving uh, with the dry suit, I've gone wood. Other than a few weeks ago when I had my zipper leak, mm -hmm. I've never been wet. And I have hundreds and hundreds of dives. New neck seal, hopefully. And circulation doesn't get cut off and all is good. One thing I like about the DUI suits is they're a self-donning suit, which usually means you don't need somebody behind you helping you with your zipper. And the zipper is the most important. All the way to the top, which I don't think it was all the way to the top last time. And then you zip up. Protective. Okay. Okay. I have my tanks and everything already set up. Today I'm going to do more of a, how much weight does it take me to get down in dry and uh, fresh water. So far I'm dry. Yep, <laughs> we are good to go. And again, I don't know what kind of weight I'm from old school. A little bit of spit in the mask. Not as fancy stuff. And again, the purpose of this technique for today is specifically just to uh, jump in the water and see what I need to, to get neutral. The ultimate goal is to get yourself at that perfect weight. You don't have too much and not too little. I'm still getting used to my single configuration. <laughs> Suck on as much air as you can. Uh, and the pool is two meters, which is awesome for swimming. Not exactly the best for, for diving training. Three meters would be a little better, but this is what we got. Um, yeah, just basically getting the air to my dry suit. Yep, just regular air. No crazy, no crazy gases today. And I do run a seven foot. configuration. Got a little bit of sidings. I think so I'm just gonna step back in the water. I, am, I definitely have a lot of air in my suit. And as I set it in the water you'll see me drain air. I'll leave the air out. And if I can't get negative, if I can't get under, I'll just come up and add some more weight. And we'll go from there.
That was close. Uh, I could get under, but and the deeper you go, the more negative you're gonna get. But um, one thing I've always had a problem with at the end of a dive is it's gonna get a little too buoyant. As the tank gets emptier, it does get more buoyant. Four more pounds and hopefully it again. And yeah, what I can say now, and comfortably with air in the suit, because when you get in the water, it does give you that squeeze. Very uncomfortable, so you want to get rid of the squeeze and still be negative. Oh, good. That extra two pounds on each side gave me a good negative plus a little air in the suit. Get rid of the squeeze. Um, I'm not ready for any cavern or deep dives yet. Uh, but this, this, it's so nice to have a pool here that I can do checks like this before it was a uh, go to the ocean, try it out. And it's a lot harder to get in and out of the surf zone or in and off, uh, on and off a boat. So this is a uh, it's quite nice almost having my own dive, dive pool here. And then I can vacuum the pool later on if all goes right. And then, hard to tell if I'm wet. I won't really know until I take the suit off. Uh, warm, I know up north, and anybody that dives up north will know when, you're, when, you, when you flood up north in the North Atlantic or in a cave up uh, in, the, in a quarry or something like that, and that cold air comes in, well, you know you flood. <laughs> so it's hard to tell uh, here when you flood as it is such warm water. So I get out, my shirt's dry, and my, my shorts are dry. I would say successful. So, after I, uh, I'll puddle around here for a little while, and then it's amazing how it comes back to you uh, two years out of the water. Yeah, uh, other than the, the rig is a little set up differently because I'm used to doubles. Um, but other than that, so it's like riding a bike, I guess. Yep, so it's all good. So I'm gonna go play around a little bit more. Okay, see you on the next dive. <laughs> fluttering around for oh, 10 or so minutes in the pool. And buoyancy is I don't know, spot on for <laughs> being out of it for as long as I have been. Um, weight I think is perfect. Downfall, I think I'm wet. It's, it's not feeling, <laughs> I love that, 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 that warm feeling that I would usually get. My seals seem fine. Could be just sweat. Cause uh, it's a Caribbean and uh, it's 90 degrees out. But if I empty my yeah, that's wet. I sweat, but not that bad. The way what you do is you usually you put a, a, a beach ball or something in the neck seal, pinch off your wrist seals, and you inflate your suit, and turn it into a giant balloon and look for bubbles. It's like you would do if I uh, had a flat tire, which is the rubber actually, you know, on the way. This is, if that's the case, this has got to go back to DUI to get fixed. Yeah, it looks like it's 
not just the neck seals right there, but this is where the seal actually adheres to the suit. Um, I mean, I might be able to clean that up, get some rubber cement. Whether or not that's where I'm getting water, but that so far is the best indication. Um, and that was only 15 minutes or so. So if you're in the water for an hour, you can imagine how much water you're going to collect in an hour. Next step, check for leaks. It, it, could, it might not even be that. I'll glue it anyway. But I mean, it could be a number of any you know, little little things. Mm -hmm. I might clean up that seal. Oh, I'm going to clean the seal up and get some rubber cement and glue that up. Okay. Uh, other than that, I mean, I could bring it to the dye shop. Um, they don't deal with dry suits, but maybe they can ship it to DUI and have them go through them, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, disappointing, but it was still fun. <laughs> any any dive you come back from is always a good dive. Yeah. Uh, all right, time to dry out. <laughs>